Hi everyone, welcome back to the MZ Mechanic channel. Today we're diving into the wild world of clueless and dangerous drivers. Buckle up as we unravel the chaos on the road, let's get started. That SUV just pulled off a maneuver more impressive than anything in an action movie. Looks like that white sedan in the middle is really into puzzle games, trying to fit itself between the other cars. Hello? Like it's playing a real life version of Tetris. What kind of impact sends a wind turbine blade straight through a heavy duty truck like that? Is that motorbike rider even real? Or are we witnessing a ghost on wheels casually cruising through traffic like it's no big deal? The green truck is clearly in its own world, not paying attention to what's in front. The driver of that cement mixer was so tired and sleepy they parked it right into a ditch, turned the whole truck into a giant, upside-down turtle in the process. Talk about bad luck for this SUV. The ground's so soft, it's like the crane's trying to stand on a mattress, definitely not the solid launch pad it was hoping for. That sedan is pulling two other sedans like it's the conductor of a mini train. That truck just crashed into a concrete barrier at the toll booth because it decided brakes were optional. Talk about a stop and go that went wildly wrong. That white pickup just crossed the road like it was in a game of Frogger. No safety checks, just vibes. The truck just brushed against a parked sedan in the emergency lane. All thanks to the driver dozing off at the wheel. Looks like the truck owner is in for a rude awakening. Responsibility just hitched a ride. In a desperate attempt to dodge that motorbike at high speed, the sedan went on a wild ride right into the parked cars. Talk about an unintentional game of automotive bumper cars. So whose fault do you think it is? The black sedan or the white SUV? In this tunnel, the visibility is about as clear as a foggy morning. So, when stopping your vehicle, you better use those warning cones at least 150 feet ahead. That blue van just zipped through the intersection like it was in a race. Did the truck driver intentionally box in the sedan? Or did the poor sedan just accidentally drift into the truck's blind spot? Either way, it's like a real-life version of hide-and-seek, only way more stressful. So, was it the truck's tire causing the trouble, or was the driver just being reckless? Either way, someone's getting the blame, and it's not looking good for either party. The rain turned the road into a slip and slide, making tire traction drop faster than your Wi-Fi during a storm. Hey buddy, what's the rush? You just hit the car in front. This isn't the time for a speedy getaway. That SUV was shipped all nice and pristine, but now it looks like it took a detour through a funhouse mirror maze. This is a classic case of misery loves company. Even in a disaster, you've gotta bring a buddy along for the ride. 
That truck was rolling down the hill at 32 kilometers per hour, and the driver decided it was a great time to jump out. That truck is definitely over the weight limit. It's like it mistook heavy duty for let's break all the rules. Talk about a close call. Those two trucks managed to hit the brakes just in time, stopping a mere 30 centimeters apart. It's like a dramatic movie scene where everyone breathes a sigh of relief. The driver of this vehicle, clearly running on fumes and fighting sleep, crashed right into the guardrail, like they mistook it for a cozy pillow. Next time, don't forget to close the door before lowering the hydraulics. The tanker suddenly swerved, leaving the truck with no choice but to squeeze the sedan against the guardrail. Not sure whether to call it lucky that the slippery road let the truck slide a long way without flipping over, or just plain unlucky. That truck going the wrong way just crashed into the tow truck. Definitely not the kind of reverse everyone was hoping for on the road. As this car was trying to make a U-turn, it suddenly encountered a sedan zooming by at breakneck speed. That white engine block? Yeah, it's definitely heavy, like skip leg day and you'll regret it, heavy. Looks flat, right? Nope, it's got just enough of a slope to turn your parked car into a runaway superstar, rolling away like it's auditioning for the next action movie. That truck driver? Definitely needs a refresher course in how to secure your cargo 101. The three-wheeler driver just took a hard left, like they were auditioning for Fast and Furious Tricycle Drift Edition, trying to nail that corner and sneak into the right lane. The old guy in the car is too busy checking out the scenery on the right, completely forgetting he's supposed to be driving. The truck's cargo burst into flames on the highway, but the firefighters swooped in like superheroes, quickly putting out the blaze before it could turn into a full-on disaster movie. The driver in front is either a senior citizen or someone who just got their license. That pickup truck thinks it's the king of the road, just because it has a high clearance. The driver of that black sedan must have a serious case of right-side vision problems. When that container burst open and spilled its cargo all over the road, the local folks and traffic police jumped in to help clean up the mess. Talk about community teamwork at its finest. A 
Another heartwarming scene of kindness unfolded when a bus started smoking on the highway, and drivers pulled over to help put out the fire. Zooming too fast through a turn makes it hard to keep things under control. So, this crane decides to take a dip in some shallow water, and boom, engines out, can't move. Now they've gotta call in a second crane to save the day, all while the tide's slowly turning it into a very expensive submarine. The sedan behind managed to hit the brakes just in time, but too bad the car behind it missed the memo. This driver's reflexes are pretty sharp, like they're channeling their inner race car driver in the middle of all this chaos. Lucky for that runaway truck rolling down the hill, the excavator swooped in just in time to save the day. It's like the ultimate rescue mission, just without the cape. When the truck collided with another vehicle and crashed into the guardrail, emergency responders, including a helicopter, arrived on the scene faster than you can say traffic drama. Talk about a full-scale rescue operation. That sedan just jumped across two lanes like it was playing hopscotch, maybe a bit too confident for its own good. Because the angle of the tow wasn't quite vertical, the excavator's tracks scraped against the concrete ledge, causing the tow line to stretch and snap, sending the poor excavator back down for round two of, let's lie down again. The driver reversed without checking the right side mirror and backed right into a parked three-wheeler behind them. Guess someone forgot that mirrors aren't just for decoration. Can the excavator really handle the weight of that truck? I'm skeptical too. Seems like we're about to witness a battle of strength that could go either way. Looks like our friend in the Honda sedan has a bit of a temper, huh? Someone's clearly not a fan of patience on the road today.
Two excavators were just the right team to lift that tipped over dump truck out of the ditch. Like a perfectly coordinated rescue mission, construction style. Let's take a closer look at the incredible craftsmanship of those skilled mechanics as they meticulously restore the dents and dings from a car that's been in an accident. With a blend of artistry and technical expertise, these professionals approach each repair with the precision of a surgeon and the finesse of a sculptor. You can see their hands at work, gently massaging out the imperfections, like they're coaxing the vehicle back to its former glory. They analyze every crease and wrinkle, using specialized tools that look more like instruments from a sci-fi movie than anything you'd find in a traditional garage. Each tap of the hammer and pull of the tool tells a story of resilience, not just for the car, but for the people who rely on it. As they work, there's a rhythm to their movements, a dance between man and machine that showcases the deep respect they have for their craft. It's not just about fixing the car, it's about breathing new life into it, restoring its personality and character. They know that every vehicle has its own history, and with every dent they smooth out, they're bringing back a part of that story. You can almost hear the cars whispering their secrets to the mechanics, who nod in understanding as they continue their work. It's a fascinating process, transforming a battered vehicle back into something beautiful and functional. So let's appreciate the dedication and skill of these automotive artists as they turn chaos into order, one repair at a time.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you don't forget to like, and if you subscribe to my channel, we will definitely appreciate it. See you next time. See you next time.